hi. This is a uh, Svea 123 stove. It's nice and compact. I've had it for a long time. And uh, it's, it's, um, it served me well. I also, uh, a while ago, got a uh, Primus 71 that's um, a little bit smaller than the burner portion of this uh, Svea. And I thought, what if I can uh, make a uh, stove with uh, similar functionality out of stuff I've got around the house? Here's a, a can of tomatoes. It's a bit shorter and somewhat uh, smaller in uh, diameter than my good old Svea. But here's the interesting part. The can of tomatoes is coincidentally, here's the can of tomatoes. I spray painted it. That was a mistake. The paint just burned right off. Anyways, it's um, cut the ends off. And it, to my surprise, is exactly the size I need to make a stove with similar functionality out of my Primus. And here's a little burner support I made, goes on there. And let me show you how it works. While it's warming up, I'll go get some water. This burner support is cute. I. Uh, designed this using uh, Onshape, a free online uh, CAD program, and uh, had it printed in, uh, in metal by Shapeways. They do a good job. And you don't print it like this because it would be ridiculously expensive. They charge by volume, so you have to uh, fold the parts down and attach them with sprues and then cut them apart later. Anyways, you end up with this. Okay, we're still warming up there, but we're almost there. This thing will settle down and burn properly once the uh, preheat is burned off. It's using up the oxygen for the flame. There we go, looking good. And there we go. That's going to get too hot. So uh, that is how it's done out of a soup can. Yay! And you get to eat the or, well, no, tomato can. And you get to eat the tomatoes, so basically it's free. The only uh, thing you pay for is the burner, or the burner support. So uh, there you go, that's what you can do with a can of tomatoes and a Primus 71. And then you make some coffee or something. Right? There it goes. See you later.